What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build, a place where cupcakes go to die. Mmm. Cupcakes and pie. On this episode, we're going to check out a process called shirusing. So I picked up some shirusing wax and some liming wax, which I'll link down below. But I got this idea from another YouTube channel called Woodworking with Wes. I'll link it down below. He does a whole bunch of shirusing videos. So go check him out if you want to know the actual process. If you want to watch me bumble through it and possibly catch some things on fire and electrocute some stuff, stick around. What I want to do is I want to give this treatment a shot, but we're going to do what we always do around here at the Build Dad Build headquarters workshop. We're gonna make a little bit of rock and roll. So we'll be working with oak this week and the process is kind of a three-step process minus top coat. So you're gonna hit it with a wire brush or we're gonna be using the restore. You wanna get out as much soft cellulose material as you can to bring out the grain in the oak. Then you either stain or paint. Then you're gonna go over it with your liming wax or your shirusing wax and that's gonna kind of highlight those edges and give you like a contrast. But we're gonna play around with it a little bit. I feel like if I burn the oak first, I can get more cellulose material out. So I'm gonna burn some of those. I think I might actually do some fractal burning on some of them just to see what this treatment looks like if I have brought a little thunder and a little lightning. Stop it. Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning, here's oh! All right, but I got all these crazy ideas going on in my head. You know what it's time to do? It's time to get to work. I do believe it's time to put a little stank on it. <laughs> Okay, the process you're about to witness is called fractal burning or Lichtenberg burning. I'm literally gonna be running electricity through a board. This is very dangerous. <laughs> Do not try this at home. I've said this a million times. I'm a professional idiot and this scares me, okay? If you don't handle these right, you can stop your heart. No BS, okay? This machine that I'm running is from Constanega something or another, I don't remember. They didn't want to talk to me, so I don't feel the need to learn the name of their company. Um, it is okay. It is not the best fractal burner out there. Most people build their own and they have a lot more power. What you get here is you get a little bit more safety for less power. This works on smaller projects. I do actually have another fractal burner that my brother and I built. He's an electrical engineer, so I'm I'm comfortable with the fact that that one is built right. Don't, don't try to make this if you don't know what you're doing. Now, be ready for a little lightning. Go! Okay, so we are going to try this out on a couple of pieces first and then kind of go from there. So it's gonna be, well for me, it's gonna be a whole lot of hurry up and wait. This stuff needs about an hour to dry once you put it on before you buff it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a liming wax on half of this guy right here that I spray painted red and half on this one that is just the Lichtenberg. And then I'm gonna use this shirusing wax on the other side. And then we'll decide which one we like better and I'll get to see how it behaves and see if, if, if I do wanna try to dye some of this or dye the wood even first um, with these guys. 
I was thinking maybe I, I might dye one, one or two of these, but I want to see how it goes on just a regular piece first. So let's get to it, shawty. Also, I don't know if I need to yet, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glove up. So far, these kind of appear to be like really similar products. The liming wax is a little thicker than the shrewsing wax, but they both kind of apply the same. They smell the same. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let these sit. The, both products say that you wanna let them uh, sit for 30 minutes to an hour. The longer you let it sit, the easier it's supposed to be to buff off. And then we'll come back and we'll buff them off and see if we notice any difference. So, I'm gonna go eat lunch. And we're back. Fancy. So, so far, I mean, this stuff looks pretty similar. That looks like I got a little bit a little bit thicker over here, but I, I, I don't think there's gonna be much of a difference. So um, I have a shop rag here, AKA one of my daughter's old PJ tops, and we're just gonna buff it out. So we're, we're buffing. So that's what that guy looks like. Can you see the white? There we go, get real close. We've got, see how it's kind of getting down in the cracks there a little bit? But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take the liming wax on these two and I'm just going to coat, uh, I'm, I'm going to do the whole thing with liming wax just so it has kind of an even finish to it. Let that sit it for another hour, buff it out. In the meantime, I have a couple ideas. Let's montage that out and then we'll talk about uh, the, what, how, what I applied to each thing because I haven't quite decided yet. I do have some, uh, you have some black unicorn spit that I want to use as kind of a, like a, um, a glaze on top of one of them. I think I'm gonna dye the other two Lichtenberg ones and then, try this and then try this effect on those after they've been dyed. Before we get into all that, uh, I just wanna say thank you to all you guys for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It just really helps me out. So thanks to all you guys. Special thanks goes to all of my patrons. They're the ones that make the magic happen, especially Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Mike Penrod, and Zach Z. Clinkies to you guys. Here, I'll clinkies you with some, some liming wax. Clinkies. If you haven't had a chance, go check out my Patreon page. Uh, we're gonna, I'm, I'm currently updating it, but we're gonna start doing some more behind the scenes stuff over there. So, go check it out. Tell me what you think. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got some new patrons. So I'd like to add an extra special thank you to Andy the Viking, who is one of our new top tier Boilermaker patrons and Ghetto Dragon Workshops, who gets the award for the best name for a wood shop ever. Thanks guys. All right, now let's get to work. One hour later. Okay, these two are not looking great right now. <laughs> I think the issue is when I was applying the wax, it was kind of mixing with the dye to a certain degree. So what I think I should have done is probably done a clear coat in between the two. What I'm gonna do to try to save these is do another uh, coat of dye, let that dry, put a clear coat on it, and then try to do the glaze. Okay, so the boards have been re-dyed and they're just, they're, they're looking rough, man. I mean, like, this one, I don't know if you can tell, but most of the, most of the fractal burns are almost full back up, and I, like, I don't think that's gonna take any sort of color. This looks like poop. The kids, when the apple tastes like poop, what do you do? You turn it up.
are we ready for some results? P.S. Cheers. All right, results. I'm putting the results in two categories because I think we had two kind of totally different uh, results, results. And I will say that the first one, I like the way the first ones turned out, but I think, I rarely say this, I think I probably shouldn't have burned them. <laughs> I just feel like it's almost too rough, which is weird to say. But I think that turned out pretty cool considering. So this is the orange with uh, black unicorn spit. Next, we've got the red. Here, let's get this over here a little bit so you can kind of see it, because it, it's, it's very shiny. They all have a top coat on them. Um, but this has, if you get real close, I'm trying to get a good angle for you. See, you've got some whites and some darks in there. So let's try that. See how you can still see some of the black coming through, and then you can see the white in, in the ridges. I have a feeling if I would have put a top coat on this like I did on the other ones and then did the charrues, that it probably would have looked more, it would have more of a white to it. And last, and I think this is kind of my favorite out of this. This is the one that I did that I painted blue and then I, I, I did the orange unicorn spit over the top. And I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm not saying there's like failures or anything, but I, like I said, two completely kind of different results. So you guys kind of saw this one coming together. This is the, the fractal burn with the shrews in it. So you can see how that white kind of got into the cracks and gives it that kind of just, it's just a different effect, I think. Look at that. I think it looks really cool. Look at how cool that looks. <laughs> it's hard to get an angle on it. Um, just because we're going to get reflections to try it. Let's try to find some different light. There we go. So this is the reason I think I probably shouldn't have burned the other ones because you see this detail that's in here, right there. Um, that's, you know, that, that's without scraping it or anything. And then you've got these cool veins of white running through there. And then you get a similar effect with the blue. I, I, I can't decide if I like the blue or the, uh, or the green better. Check that out. It's so cool. I just love the way that white kind of translates in there, but you also get it in the grain of the wood too. But as usual, those are my opinions. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I appreciate all your support. Do me a favor and head on over to Patreon if you haven't already. Check it out, let me know what you think. And until next time, thanks for playing. Now I gotta get to work. Check one, two, sound check one, two. Shorty got a big old booty. Shorty got a big old butt. Shoddy. What am I gonna do with you? Love can bring you together. Oh, hello there. How are we today? <laughs> I mean, it looks like Shrek dropped a load over here. <laughs> <laughs>